Just a minute. What, Mom? Don't you what, Mom, me? How about taking a break for once today? You were just there yesterday and the day before that. I know, but it's just that being there makes me feel so calm. Come on, why can't I go? Because I said so. Do I have to remind you about all the crazy things going on since that sorcery globe crashed down on us? Just last night we had a huge earthquake. The animals are all going wild and attacking people. It's too dangerous right now. Besides, there's also a... Ah! What? Wait a minute! Oh, that child! What she sees in the sacred forest is beyond me. Whew, that was close. Why does my mom always have to harp on me like that? I better get to the sacred forest quick if I want to make it there. about the sacred forest just makes me feel refreshed. I think I'll try going in a little further today. Pretty. I really wish my mother wouldn't worry so much about me. This place couldn't possibly be any safer. Look out! Huh?
Whew. Good thing I made it in time. Who is this guy? He's dressed all weird. And what was that light? He killed that monster in the blink of an eye. I... um... You all right? Well, that was a close one. By the way, if you don't mind me asking... Hey, wait! Oh, that scared me. He didn't have to get so close to me like that all of a sudden. Maybe it was rude of me to run away like that. He did tell me to wait, too. Hope he's still around. Oh, good. I was hoping you'd wait for me. I'm sorry I ran away like that. Oh, no, th that's okay. It's just that everything happened so quickly, I was really shocked. <laughs> Scary, huh? Y yes a little Still, I'm really sorry about all this. You saved me, but I just ran off like that. Nah, don't worry about it. Besides, you did stop to wait, didn't you? Oh, I haven't introduced myself. My name is Reyna. Reyna Lanford. Oh, and, uh, I'm Claude. Uh, Claude C. Kinney. Uh, hi. <laughs> nice to meet you, Mr. Kenny. So, Mr. Kenny, was there something you wanted to ask me earlier? Oh, right. It's nothing that important, really, but... Uh, where am I? Are you a traveler? Uh, something like that, yeah. Where are you from? From... from Earth? Earth? Where is that? Well, uh, how can I put it? It's... it's really far away from here. Really. Really far away. Probably. A faraway place? That's really amazing. Yes. Well, not really. Mr. Kenny, once we cross this bridge, we'll be in Arlia. Arlia? Is that where you live? But, uh, are you sure it's all right if I just barge in? Of course it is. Besides, I need to repay you somehow. No, please, don't worry about it. I didn't do anything that special. <laughs> you don't have to be so modest. It won't be much, just the least I can offer you, so please.
Here we are. Welcome to Arlia. Wow, it's so pretty. Is it? Well, thank you. Ah, it's such a nice place. I like it a lot. Listen, would you be able to show me around the village? Of course. I don't mind at all.
welcome back, Reyna. Is something wrong? Something big has happened, Mom. This is serious. Oh, really now? Just what could that be? I'm not exaggerating. He's here. The hero has arrived. What? The hero! The one from the legends! You know, the hero of light! He's come to save us! Reyna, are... are you sure about that? Yes! He's wearing clothes like I've never seen before, and he has the Sword of Light! The Sword of Light? Yes! He used this unbelievable light to save me in the Sacred Forest. It had to be the Sword of Light! So where is he right now? He's outside right now, so I'm gonna... Wait a minute, Reyna. Hmm? Um, excuse me. Ah, is something wrong, Mr. Kenny? Ah, uh, um, it's been a while since you left me, so I was just wondering what's up. Oh, my apologies. Would you wait outside for me just a little bit longer? Uh, sure. Do you mind if I walk around a little? Oh, please do. Go ahead. Whew. He surprised me. Was that him, Rena? Yeah. Are you sure we should leave him out there by himself? I... I think he'll be okay, but... Reyna, tell him to come inside. That'll probably be better. Yes, let's do that. Okay, I'll go get him. You actually believed me, Mom. Of course I did, Reyna. You're my daughter. Thank you. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mr. Kenny. Oh, Reyna, are you done? Mom, I'm back! Hello. 
Rena, I wasn't expecting you two to be back so early. Just in time, though. I was just finishing up everything. Finishing up? What? Mom, what's all this food here for? Doesn't it look delicious? I put all of my best recipes out on the table for you. That's not what I mean. What? Did I do something wrong? I just thought I'd thank Mr. Kenny with a nice meal. I understand that, but isn't this a little much? Is it? He's pretty young, so I figured he'd have a big appetite. You are hungry, aren't you, Mr. Kenny? Actually, I am, yeah. See, a real man could put all this away, no problem. So eat as much as you like, all right? Uh, thanks. Oh, Mom. Oh, thank you so much for the meal, but I just can't eat anymore. Are you okay? You didn't have to force it all down, you know. I'm fine. I'm fine. I've got a cast iron stomach. I'm sorry my mother made so much. It was all delicious, though. My mother would never be able to do something like that. <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. I'm glad you're happy. I'm going to go downstairs and help my mother clean up. Feel free to rest up here for a bit, all right? Sure, that sounds good. How is he, Reyna? Stuffed. He said he couldn't eat anymore, so I had him rest upstairs for a bit. Is that right? In that case, now would be a good time to tell the mayor. It's dark out, so be careful, Reyna. Okay, I'll go get him. What's all the racket for, Reyna? Sir, come to my house quick! There's no time to waste! Now just what is going on here, young lady? The hero! He's finally appeared! Wh what It's true! He has the Sword of Light and everything! The Sword of Light? His clothes are foreign-looking, too. There's no doubt about it. He's the hero from the legend. My goodness. Tell me, Reyna, where did you find him? In the Sacred Forest. He saved me from a monster using the Sword of Light. And right now, he's resting in my house. I'm telling you the truth. What's more, he said he's on a journey, but didn't have any idea where he was. He claims to be from somewhere, but I've never even heard of the place. Don't you think this is more than a coincidence? Indeed. It is something worth looking into. Reyna? I know as well as anybody that you are not the kind of girl to make up stories, either. Thank you, Mayor. So let's get to the bottom of this. First things first, let's see what he has to say. Great!
Reina, oh, no, 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 no. What's wrong, Mom? Why are you panicking like that? I... no, it, it's just that I've... Calm down, Mom. Tell me what's wrong. I said it. Said what? I said the H word. What? You told him that? So what did he say? I don't think he understood what I meant. Please be calm, everyone. It's all right. He doesn't understand what this is all about either. Oh, Mr. Kenny. This must be Claude C. Kenny then, yes? Allow me to say, I'm honored to make your acquaintance. My name is Regis, and I humbly serve this village as its mayor. Good to meet you, sir. Allow me to thank you profusely for saving our dear Reina's life in the sacred forest. Oh, not at all, sir. Speaking of which, Reina has told me that you are, at present, in the midst of a journey. Oh, well, it's hardly worth calling a journey, really. So tell me, where is your destination? The Kingdom of Cross, or perhaps the continent of Lacour? Well, I, uh... A curious traveler indeed. Not only do you not know where you are, but where you are going is also yet unknown. What are you trying to say, sir? Mr. Kenny, if you will forgive my rudeness for a moment, I do believe everything you have told us has been a lie. You are far from an ordinary traveler. If I'm not a traveler, then what am I? A visitor from another world. A hero of legend, hidden under the guise of a traveler. In fact, even you will agree that you are the hero of light who has come to fulfill his duty as our savior. Am I wrong? What? I, uh, listen, what would possibly make you think that I, uh... If it's proof you need, then let me share with you a glimpse of our world. It has been told in our history that when the people of Expel are suffering under the threat of impending doom, a hero will appear in garbs of foreign make, and with his sword of light, he will save us all! Your clothes are nothing like what we have, and you carry the Sword of Light. What more proof do we need? What are you... I don't have any Sword of Light. Of course you do! You used a blinding light to save me earlier. That? Maybe he really isn't the one. He's got to be. Hmm... I think I know why you're all confused. This weapon of mine, it's not a sword of light, although I'll admit that it's something like one. But still, carrying this around doesn't make me any kind of special hero. There's gotta be some kind of mistake. How can you say that? Well, I mean, I'm not a hero. I don't have any kind of power like that. I don't even have any idea what's going on here. How can you expect me to save anyone at all? You truly have no idea? You really don't know anything about the Sorcery Globe or the Cataclysms? We're not talking about something that happens in the village here. We're talking about the Cataclysms that have affected the entire world. It seems that you do not really know what we are talking about. Please allow me to explain. It all began three months ago. On another continent, northwest of this village, there is a kingdom by the name of El. One fateful day, 
A meteor crashed upon Aluria, a town located within El's territory. At first, people saw it as merely a rare and remarkable celestial event. But before long, a cataclysm took place. Great hordes of monsters suddenly appeared in the once peaceful nation, and the havoc they spread devastated the Kingdom of El. There has never been anything like this before in our world, not until the arrival of that meteor. It only stands to reason that the two events are related to each other. The meteor came to be called the Sorcery Globe, a stone of pure demonic evil. No matter how you look at it, that stone must be the reason for the disasters that have befallen the world. And now, just as the sorcery globe fell upon our heads one day, so you have also appeared out of thin air. If that stone is the source of the chaos, then we believe that only you can cut through the chaos and save us. But I'm just a... The cataclysms are still ongoing as we speak. Strings of earthquakes like nothing recorded before. Docile animals turning into fearsome monsters. It will not be long before disaster befalls this humble village, too. But I... I'm not anyone special, like your story said. How am I supposed to deal with some kind of magic meteorite? If you are not, then where did you come from? And where are you going? That's... I don't know how to explain it. And even if I did, you wouldn't understand it. The only thing I can tell you is that I'm here because of an accident, and not because I wanted to be here. I just want to go back to where I came from. That's all. You must have your reasons, but you must let us know more before we can make sense of this. I know, but that's all I can tell you. Very well. If you insist on it, then I am sure there is at least some truth to it. We will have to accept that you are not the Hero of Light after all. How can this be? I'm sorry. This is probably not what you all wanted to hear. Not at all. It is our own fault forcing you to be someone you are not in the first place. I'm sorry about this. Reina! this. He has to be the one. Those clothes and that sort of light.
easy win. trying to accomplish here. Father, what am I supposed to do? Father? What am I supposed to do? Please, keep your voice down. We wouldn't want Reyna to hear us. That girl's passed out on her bed, now that she's finally had enough of crying for her dead father. I am sure this is just as much a shock for you as it is for her. But you are her mother. You need to stay calm, for her sake. Stay calm? How am I supposed to stay calm? My husband is dead! Wester. Without him? What am I... What am I going to do? I still haven't told her yet. Now that he's gone, I'll have to tell her all by myself. Can you imagine? Having to tell your daughter that she's not your real child? I knew I should have thrown away that damn pendant. Why didn't I get rid of the last connection to her real parents? She would have been mine, my real daughter. So who am I, then? Reyna? Mr. Kenny! Morning. Good morning. What's wrong? You look tired. Huh? Oh, no. I'm fine. I'm sorry about what happened yesterday. I didn't mean to cause a scene like that. It's alright. I mean, I know I must look really out of place to you all. Now that I know the whole story, it's pretty easy to see how everyone came to that conclusion. I grew up listening to tales about the hero, you know. They talked about how the hero would appear in our time of greatest need and save our way of life. And, I mean, a lot of people are desperately in need right now, aren't they? All around the world. Having you show up just like the stories at a time like this... I just thought you had to be the one. That makes sense. I mean, I wasn't sure, but I was pretty sure.
Well, I'm sorry I couldn't be the hero you wanted. I didn't mean that, Mr. Kenny. It's not your fault. I'm the one to blame for being so easily taken in by the stories of the hero. I still want to apologize, though. I really wish there's something I could do. You don't have to worry about it. I hope you can get back to your home soon. I I'm sorry, but would it be alright if I stayed here alone for a little while? Well, okay. I... Uh... I hope you feel better. See you. I'm sorry, Mr. Kenny. I better get back home. Wouldn't want my mother worrying about me. Hey, Reyna. You're a sight for sore eyes. How have things been? Good. Well, great. <laughs> Alan? I've got good news for you, Reyna. I'm finally ready. Ready? For what? The stage has finally been set. Or should I say, our wedding ceremony is ready. Huh? What are you saying, Alan? What you're talking about, Alan? I I'm not getting married to you. <laughs> You'll change your tune soon enough, Reyna. Once you witness my greatness, my power. I'm not 
changing anything. What happened to you, Alan? Can't you feel it? The power that's pouring out of my body, even as we speak. Alan, what happened to you? Whatever. Take her away. Let me go! Fret not, my dear. Soon you won't be able to live without me. The stone has told me so. <laughs> hmm, what the... Someone, someone get Regis, get Wester. Raina. Well, well, quite the reception. Mom, help me! Alan, what is the meaning of this? Let Raina go right now. Can't do that. Alan, have you gone mad? Alan? Move out of my way, please. I will not be kind to interlopers. Let Raina go. Hm. Ah! Mom! I will say this one last time. Get out of my way, or I will make sure everyone here regrets it dearly. Let him through, everybody. This is not the same Alan we knew. I think he'll do what he says. But Reyna... I'm going to be all right. Please, don't worry about me. It would have been easier if everyone just did this the first time I asked. Off then! Get in! Uh. Why are you doing this, Alan? This is terrible, and what you did to my mother. Cool off in here for a while. I'll come back for you later. And don't even think about trying to escape. I've got to get out of here.
There's got to be a hidden exit somewhere. There we go. Where am I? I had no idea a tunnel like this exists under the mansion. Ah! There's someone on the ground! Bosman! Are you alright? Oh, Raina! Why are you here? That's what I was gonna ask you! Oh! You're hurt! I'll be fine. But what are you doing here, Reyna? I was taken here by Alan. He was going on about a wedding in some kind of altar. I see. Well, Alan had me build this bizarre room inside the Salva Mines for him. Guess now I know what the altar's for, I'm afraid. Something's wrong with that boy. He's got this stone. And every time he looks at it, he cracks this smile that makes him look like a madman. I was frankly too scared to go on. But when I tried to escape, this happened to me. Reyna, if you're the one he's after, you better get out of here fast. I can't just leave you here, Bosman. I'll be all right. I'll leave the mansion once I've rested up a bit. But you don't have that kind of luxury, Reyna. But... This mansion is connected to the Salva Mines on the inside. You might be able to find your way back to town through there. Now get moving.
We'd better be careful. That was an easy win. What is this place? Ah, my sweet bride. So wonderful of you to make it to our little wedding. Reina, my dear. You should know by now that you can't escape from me. Alan, what is wrong with you? You weren't like this before. No, I wasn't. I've changed. And I have the stone to thank for that. Alan! But that's a trifle matter not worth killing yourself over. Shall we begin the ceremony? Reina! That's close enough! So you're out. Let Reina go. Do you have any idea what you're doing? If you'll excuse me, sir, we are in the middle of a holy ceremony. In just a moment, we will be together as one. I would appreciate it if you would show some respect. Now then, my Reina. No! Mr. Kenny, help me! Stop it! This isn't anything holy! You can't force someone into marriage like this! Force? I think you're a tad mistaken here. We are in love with each other. Love with each other. Love! Alan? Love! With! Oh no! Mr. Kenny! It's finally over. 
Mark. Reina, are you all right? Y yeah. What happened to this guy, Reina? I don't know. Ever since he came to Arlia, it's like he was possessed by something. But people don't just turn into this kind of monster. What's going on here? Alan, you were such a good person, too. Reyna. Why did this have to happen? Oh. <sighs> Alan! He's still breathing. Where am I? Huh? Reyna, why are you here? What do you mean? Oh, my head's spinning. I feel like I've been stuck in a dream for days. I guess that stone was what caused all this trouble. Once it's gone, that was enough to turn him back to normal. I'm so happy for you. Now let's go back to the mansion. We can figure everything out over there. I did all of that? Yes, you did, I'm afraid. It was a terrible experience. Wow. I can't remember a thing. You're telling me I had Bosman build that altar for me? Yep. It was about two weeks ago that you sent me the order. Now that I think about it, that was around the time I started to notice you acting strangely. Like you were in your own little world or something. It must have been that stone. Whatever power that stone's emitting was enough to mentally transform you. I think you're right about that. The first time I saw that stone, it was like something swelled up inside my head. I felt like I could literally do no wrong. That I was right, and everyone else was to do my bidding. I don't remember much after that but I don't think I'll ever be able to forget what it felt like at that single moment. Alan. Reyna, I'm sorry. I know I was unconscious during that time, but I feel terrible for doing those things to you. Don't feel bad, Alan. Besides, you're back to normal, and I know the real Alan would never do anything like that. Thank you. We better hurry back to Arlia. Your mom's worried about you, Reyna. Yeah. I need to go explain what happened to everyone in Salva. Hopefully they'll be understanding. Well, looks like we owe you our thanks once again. You saved Rena's life not once, but twice now. Oh, no. I hardly did anything worth thanking me for. So is that what started this whole little episode? That little stone he found in the Salva Mines? That's the only explanation I can think of. When the stone shattered, Alan snapped back to normal. Mm. First you go mad, then you transform into a monster. That stone almost reminds me of the sorcery globe. Yes, it does seem to be that way. Perhaps the two are related somehow. The sorcery globe. 
That's just something that popped into my mind, anyway. It sounds like the town of Salva is in an uproar right now. As if Alan didn't cause enough chaos, rumors about the hero have made it over there as well. I'm sorry. I know you had warned me about that. Uh, do not take that as a criticism. It was unavoidable with your mind focused upon saving Reyna's life. Still, the story has spread too far now. Hiding it any longer will prove to be very impractical. I see. Would you mind investigating the Sorcery Globe for us, Mr. Kenny? I know this is an awfully selfish request, but frankly, I cannot think of anyone more fitting for the task. I as well believe Alan's fit of madness has something to do with the Sorcery Globe. If you could save him, then perhaps you could do yet more for us. Mr. Kenny? All right. I'll do it. You will? Ah, but, but first, let me just remind you that I'm not the hero. Saving the world is just way beyond me, I'm afraid. But I think the Sorcery Globe might provide some useful information for my own personal reasons. If I can help everyone else in the process, then I figure it'd be worthwhile, you know? Thank you very much, Mr. Kenny. We will help you out as best we can. Thank you, but I'm not making any promises. Could you take me with you, Mr. Kenny? Reyna! You heard what the mayor just said. I want to help out as best I can. But Reyna, it's going to be dangerous. I fully understand that but I just know I will be of some help to you along the way. You don't know very much about this land, do you, Mr. Kenny? So you're gonna need some kind of guide in your travels. I could at least provide you with that, right? I suppose so, yes, but... Come on, Mayor, help me out here. That's right, Mr. Kenny. Why don't you take her along, if that's what she wants? Mayor... I'm sure she'll be a tremendous asset on the road. Please, think it over, son. Okay, I got it. But get your mom's permission first, Reyna. I'm not gonna let you come with me unless she gives the green light. Yeah, I know. In that case, you should probably head for Cross first. That's a pretty large town, so I'm sure you'll find some leads there. Take care on your way home, Reyna. It's starting to get chilly, so don't catch cold now. Oh, I'll be all right. My house is right over there, you know. I'm not being a burden on you, am I? I know I kind of forced you into this. No, of course not. Um, listen, I... Yes? Oh, Reyna, are you still here? I thought you'd be back home by now. Have a good night. Welcome back, Reyna. Hi, Mom. Mr. Kenny said he'll go check out the Sorcery Globe for us. Oh, 
Really? Really, but that's not all. I... I was thinking about going along with him. Reina, why would you want to do that? I thought the journey might be too much for him to handle by himself. I mean, he doesn't know a thing about this world. But Reina... No. Please, Mom. I have to tell you, I know all about... Pardon my intrusion so late, my dear. Wester, uh, could I have a word with you, please? Certainly. I'm gonna get some fresh air outside. Still no dice. Guess I'm too far out of range. Damn it. Mr. Kenny, are you having trouble sleeping? Oh, Reyna. No, I just, uh, what are you still doing up? Well, I told my mother I'm going and, um, she was pretty surprised. I would think so. Did she say no? She didn't say anything, but then the mayor came by. Oh. Listen, Mr. Kenny, there's a reason why I want to come along with you. A reason? What do you mean? My mom, she's not my real mother. I don't think either of them realize I know, but I overheard them discussing it a long time ago. Oh, really? So you want to search for your real mother? I don't know. I don't have anything to go on besides this pendant. But the fact that whoever gave birth to me cared enough to give me this pendant, I think she must have loved me, at the very least. What about the mom you have now? West is the one that raised you. I can tell she has a lot of love and affection for you. What about her feelings? I... I love her. She's the only mother I have. So why all this, then? I want to know what I really am. Where was I born? Why was I in the sacred forest? Where did this power of mine come from? But more than anything else, I want to know what happened to the woman who gave birth to me. I'm not going with you because I want to leave my village. I'm going because one day, I will come back here again. It's getting late. I'm sorry I brought all this up. No, no, it's... Good night. Take care of Raina for us, Mr. Kenny. Yes, sir. Be careful out on the road. Of course. I'll be fine as long as Mr. Kenny is with me. I suppose so. 
Sabrina. Don't worry, Mom. I promise I'll be back soon. Saying goodbye like this makes it all the better when I say hello again, right? Yeah, you're right. Come back soon, okay, Reina? Thanks, Lucian. Remember to be a good boy, all right? Okay. Go on now. Wouldn't want to keep Mr. Kenny any longer than we have to. You'd want to reserve enough time for the trip to cross, no? It's best if you set off as soon as you can. So the first thing to do is visit the King of Cross at the castle, right? That's correct. He will certainly welcome you once you show him my letter of introduction. You'll be able to gather the latest information on what's going on from him. Oh, definitely. I know the King pretty well myself. Let's go then, Reyna. See you later, Mom. Take care, Reyna. If things get tough, you're welcome back here anytime you want. Don't forget that this is your home. I won't forget it. Goodbye, Mom. Best of luck to you, Mr. Kenny. Thank you, sir. <laughs>